Reducing the risk of surgical site infection, or SSI, requires a surgical care bundle approach that includes management of patient risk factors for infection, proper skin antisepsis, instrument sterilization, environmental control within the operating room, and antibacterial devices. Although every operation begins with an antiseptic preparation of the skin to kill superficial bacteria, some bacteria remain below the visible surface of the epidermis in the lining of hair follicles, sweat glands, and other areas. These bacteria can be disrupted while making the skin incision, which is one possible source of SSI initiation. Relative to the surgical incision, sutures are small and appear to be of minimal consequence. But if we shrink down between two layers of connective tissue, sutures present a large surface area for bacteria to colonize and create a risk for SSI. Organisms commonly associated with SSI include multiple species of gram-positive and gram-negative bacteria. Once a suture is introduced into the incision, the disrupted epidermal bacteria migrate to the foreign body, which is the site of SSI initiation. Bacteria then adhere to and colonize the suture. Subsequently, the colonizing bacteria can develop into a polymicrobial biofilm on the suture. The biofilm increases over time as the colonizing bacteria secrete a sticky polymeric matrix. Because the biofilm matrix is difficult to penetrate by macrophages or local or systemic antimicrobials, the likelihood of SSI is increased. For over 15 years, PLUS antibacterial sutures by Ethicon have provided an antibacterial option for wound closure of all tissue layers, including subcuticular, subcutaneous, fascia, and organ layers. PLUS sutures are coated with medical-grade triclosan, a broad-spectrum antimicrobial agent that is active immediately and inhibits common SSI-associated organisms from colonizing the suture for seven days or more in vitro. Use of sutures containing triclosan addresses a known risk factor for SSI. A recent meta-analysis covering more than 6,000 patients showed a 28% reduction in SSI risk when using triclosan-coated sutures compared to using non-antibacterial sutures, which was similar across all suture types and wound classifications. Multiple international evidence-based guidelines have recently included recommendations to consider triclosan-coated sutures in an overall approach to reduce the risk of SSI. Add PLUS antibacterial sutures to your SSI care bundle as one of the many ways to help protect your patients.